Hi, Geminis. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my singles for new love. Today, we're going to ask Bear, who's next in love, new boyfriend, new girlfriend, future spouse, next partner, anything about them, some initials, when are they coming, their personality, anything spirit wants you to hear. I have some clues today. We're going to be using some charms. I have some initials. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. If you found this reading, I'm so grateful that Spirit has guided you here. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross-watchers, certainly welcome. Use this to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of. You can use this reading to confirm a love that's come into your life. However, when we get to the initials, if you do not see your person's initials, do not be upset. This is a general collective love reading for everybody. Just take the clues that make connection to you. Leave the rest for everybody else. Spirit, welcome. And welcome, everybody. Spirit, please guide me. I am listening for you now. Let's see. I've got a forever young, your romance sings with joy as you surrender to your youthful playfulness. It's so important to have fun with the person that you bring into your energy. That's the number one thing. Are we having fun? Are we enjoying each other? You know, that life is too short. So we want to have a good, we want to have a partner that we can just have a good time with, you know, laugh with and hang out with and do things with and have a joyful connection a rendezvous, a private getaway for the two is calling you, somebody who wants to take you away for a weekend. How about just this feeling of I, I want to take you away? Um, you know, that's always a fun energy. Just, you know, I want to be alone with you. Um, and I just want to be be with you somewhere. Let's go away. Let's, let's um, go for a holiday. Let's go on a vacation together. So, get ready for somebody kind of sweeping you off your feet and um, taking you away. Uh, you know, I, I love this energy already. Let's see what else they have. I have a fearless love, a brave romance and courageous leap into the unknown. Oh boy, you know, it's, it is scary starting a new connection. There's always that hesitation, you know, do I give my heart to somebody? Don't I give my heart to somebody? You have to have at least that little bit of faith that says, I have to keep trying. I have to believe that, you know, there's that one person that when I do give my heart to them, that, you know, they give their heart back. So Welcome back, everybody. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below on anything that jumps out for you that you want to claim. Um, if you want to claim the overall energy, you can do that as well. Spirit, tell me about this fearless love. I have a king of wands. I have a king of swords. Beautiful. I have a seven of pentacles. And I have a page of wands. So this is coming into me as just even from the first moment I saw you, you know, just this kind of spark, like there was something about you or there was this feeling of um, you swept me off your feet just in even those first couple of moments, you know, like my, you made my heart beat, um, my eyes made contact with you. And then I feel like I move into this mature love. I really like this energy of these kings because I feel like this is somebody who is upfront, um, honest, um, worthy for sure. Um, I have, I feel like they have something to offer, you know, both passionately and intellectually. I feel like the conversations and holding your attention, I feel like are there. And then I feel like it's a, it's a, even, even a discussion and, you know, an, kind of an unfolding of, you know, let's build this. Let's see where this goes. Let's put some time and effort into this. And um, I want to see where this goes. So somebody who actually says right from the beginning that they're looking for a relationship. I have a magician. This person's going to have a lot to offer you. Here's the ace. I feel like they are very, very attracted to you. And I feel like they, they make it very obvious that they saw sparks, you know, right from the beginning. And they've been patiently, I feel like they've been patiently waiting. I don't think that anybody else is, does it for them the way that you're doing it. So 
you know, you meet a lot of people and not everybody you have sparks with, not everybody that you're, you know, you're really interested in. Yeah. I feel like you're both excited about this connection, introducing each other to family and friends. I can't wait for you to meet my new person. Um, you're my queen, beautiful and an ace. Yeah. This sense of honesty, honest feelings coming into me, somebody who treats you, treats you right. And in the bottom of my deck is a king of cups. So I have these beautiful energies with all of all of these kings today. And this person's very confident. They're confident with, with what they're saying. They're confident with, with their emotions. Um, you know. They are emotionally available. I mean, that is that that is a truth for me. I mean, I am absolutely feeling that intuitively. So this is somebody who is ready for a relationship. They're not going to play games or or uh, spin your wheel, something like that. So it's going to be worth the wait. We're going to do some timeline cards today for you also. Tell me more, spirit, communication. Communication could be the best thing in this connection. You could just love sitting and talking to this person for hours on end, or you get on the phone with them and all of a sudden, you know, like five or six hours have gone by, or, you know, you're, you sit and you just relax with a glass of wine and hours go by, you know, so it, it's just a feeling of this is somebody I want to be with. Within the next six months, we could be in love with this person. You are always in my heart. You have a special place in my heart. And I have, we're falling in love. So I don't feel like this person's going to be shy. Okay. I feel like this person is going to be able to tell you. I'm look for uh look for pink tulips, look for pink roses. I don't know, pink flowers. Um just this feeling of I'm not going to be a, a shy. I'm not going to hold back my feelings. I'm not going to not tell you that I'm in love with you. Um, I, I just feel like this person's very, very confident within themselves and their emotions. And it's going to be refreshing is how it's coming into me that this person bottom of the deck, they have a bur burning passion for you. So they're going to say, you know what, I'm not going to hold back. I'm attracted to you. I have feelings for you. I, I love our conversations. I, I love I love how you think. I love everything about you. So this person is not going to hold back. I mean, I, I feel like if anything, it may be a lot of love bombing, you know, or maybe that's, you know, going to scare you a little bit because it'll be a lot of love bombing. But, um, you know, when you find somebody that you really want to be with, you don't hesitate because you see so many people you don't want to be with. They're very charismatic. They're going to be very easy to fall in love with. They're very charming. They're good to you. They're smiling. They're they're sexy in their own way, like just their personality. So uh, they feel fortunate with all that they have. They're grateful. I love that. There's a sense of peace about them. They could have a very calming voice or you just love to listen to them or they have great stories or you like how they kind of look at uh, a global view of things or how they look at the world. You know, there's something like that. They're very curious. They're always learning. They want to learn about you. They want to know everything about you. They keep asking you lots of questions. They really want to get to know you. Spirit saying you can trust this person. They're trustworthy. Uh, there's an artistic side to them and they're very receptive, very receptive to new things, very open to learning new things, something like that. So there's some, some artistic creativity energy there. Just a feeling of openness. I like that. Determined, fit, and healed. That came into me as they've worked on themselves in some way, you know, whether it's uh, they've gotten in better shape, uh, they're, you know, they hit a certain age and they started taking better care of themselves. They started working out. They started eating better. Um, so that could be you. That could be them. But I feel like that is a big part of who they who they are today. And maybe that's something that you share together that you know, we both are healthy eaters, or we both like to go to the gym. Um, we both, you know, enjoy each other's um, company, you know, doing the things that we like for our bodies, you know, something like that. Bottom of the deck, they're funny. 
They make you laugh. You're having a good time with this person. Spirit, tell me what else you want me to know about this connection. What is important to know? Let's say, I have passion. There's great chemistry. I feel passionate for you. I want to hold you in my arms. I can't wait to hold you. And I, I feel... Um, I, I do feel that. I just feel like I want to be alone with you. I want to take you away and I can't wait um, to hold you, you know, just this kind of swept off my feet by you. So um, it's going to be a very physical connection. I do uh, feel that as well as the intellectual connection. So I'm going to say it's a soul connection. Family, family comes first. I like, uh, I love that, of course. I'm close to my family. They could have a child. You could have a child. I want it all. Twin flame. There could be, a, this could be a, a twin flame or a soul connection. And then dating. Lots of romance. Lots of beautiful evenings. Some romantic. How about just an, a romantic evening, um, you know, that sweeps you off your feet, you know, just just something like that, that just tells you that you're beautiful, you're amazing inside and out. And just this feeling of somebody treating you right. Uh, let's get some clues. Let's see what the charms are saying. I've got this bowl of clarifying charms today. Just going to take a handful and read them intuitively. They're just little images. And but sometimes things jump out at me that that I wouldn't hear or, or feel otherwise. Um, and I like that. Okay, so here's the horse charging forward, the number 45. Now, this shark just came in to me as very protective, <laughs> very protective. They could have a little bit, I don't think they cause problems with jealousy, but um, they're very protective of the person that they're with. You know, they're going to guard you. They're not going to let anybody um, come up to you and, and start talking to you that is inappropriate, something like that. So there's a little bit of a protective feeling to the right person, like you're nobody's going to get in your space, something like that. Um, a global view that's coming into me as like worldly knowledge, okay, that they are good with things like uh, news or politics or global issues or climate or things that are more of a big picture global view. Music, They're, they probably have great taste in music. You probably love the type of music that they listen to. They probably, they're saying artists, like they know um, mus musicians names and songs and they know the artists so they're probably up on pop culture something like that I'm going to flip this one over ringing your bell okay I'm going to I'm going to say that that's like the cell phone buzz you know there's something about their cell phone ring it could sound like an old fashioned doorbell or it could sound like a bell it could ding like a bell like when the text messages go off so maybe connected to their phone something about their phone in that bell and then i have a sea i have a little seahorse and i believe that seahorses i had heard this once our soulmates for life. And I also heard that they tie their tails together when they're sleeping so that they don't, um, you know, float away from each other. I, I don't know whether that's true or not, but I believe it's true because I just like the story. But um, a seahorse soulmate energy. So that's gorgeous. Thank you, Spirit, for those uh, clues. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about my new person future person, what is it that you need me to hear today? What is important for me to know? I have a five of wands. I have an emperor. I have an ace of pentacles. And I have strength. This person knows what they want. All right. This person's willing to fight for you, that shark with that protective energy. This person's like, once you're in my energy, I will protect you, provide and protect energies, which is a very masculine energy. And that emperor is, of course, a very masculine energy. But it, it's a feeling of I will fight for you. I will fight to keep a healthy relationship. I will fight to be first in your life or to um, be by your side. Like, I won't drop the ball. So this is somebody who's determined to make this work. Two of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. 
I have a six of swords. They've moved on from other things. I feel like they've already decided that you're the one, you know, like they're, they've only been looking ahead for so long and they have been looking for somebody just like you is how it's coming into me. So this is not somebody who has somebody in the closet or somebody in their past that's going to come, come out um, when you least expect it. I, I feel like they've more than moved on. They're in a healthy place. They, they are very mature about um, heading into a connection um, and right now they just want to be with you. It was, you know, I just can't wait to hold you. I just can't wait to make love to you. And I just can't wait to have you in my life and in my heart. Let's see what, what letters we have. I have the letter R. I have a letter J. I have, they're very affectionate. I look for a piercing. That could be you. That could be them. I have, they're very independent. Something about their smile. You love their smile. They love your smile. It could be the first thing they say to you is, I love your smile. They're funny. They make you laugh. You know, it could be you la you're laughing so hard, like you're, you know, with, you know, just your mouth's wide open, you know, like that kind of belly laugh. This person just makes you happy. Um, you love their eyes. Their eyes smile at you when they're looking at you. I have the letter C. I have a letter I today. I have a letter T. I have a W. I have curves. Somebody likes curves. I love your I love your scent, perfume, cologne. Um, the letter A and a letter F. So we'll take those letters and spirit saying one more, please. I have the letter B. So we will put that down as well. Okay. And spirit, the big question of the day is when, when is this love coming into our lives? When can we expect this love? What do you have for us? When can we see this love coming forward? I have September. Now this could be birthday months also for, for either of you. I have next month. I have in a few weeks. I have March. Okay, so we've got next month in March. If this person comes into you next month, you have to claim this. <laughs> you have to put this out. Let's take that four leaf clover and just say, you know what? Luck is on our side. I can feel it. I can feel the luck coming into me. How beautiful. I want you to manifest this. This was for you today. I want you to claim it. It's yours. Let's put it out into the universe together. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments always. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.